Hi everybody, uh, in this uh, video we'll be looking at the testing, so make sure that all the work we've done so far uh, is working, uh, that GA is firing, the GTM is firing, and then GTM is then uh, loading up uh, Google Analytics, uh, and then we're going to trace uh, the cross-domain tracking, and I'll show you how to do that in this video, which is uh, step 7 uh, testing. So let's go ahead and uh, do that now. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to inside um, uh, inside uh, this page here, uh, inside uh, inside this uh, WordPress blog, and create a new page. And it's going to be called uh, GTM. Oops, testing. Um, so that I don't get lost. Uh, October 2019. All right, I'll be using the Divi Builder for this because it just makes it look beauty. All right, go ahead and um, do that. I'm just gonna. So this is where I'm gonna put. Uh, uh, this is where I'm gonna put uh, the decision tree. So go code, I'll go into into leads hook. Uh, come here and grab the embed code, uh, copy, and go paste. All right, so that uh, allows you to paste your decision tree inside a container, um, inside Leads Hook, uh, inside the, the WordPress block. Uh, you can do something similar on whatever page builder you're using. Now, I just wanted to share one thing with you. If you that because the Leads Hook decision tree is uh, responsive, or the embed is fully responsive, um, you can actually go ahead and do something like this, where you can have a lot of content sitting on this site, and you can do the same thing here. So just go and paste the code here, press and save. So that's going to restrict Leads Hook into a small container. All right. So in case you're looking to do uh, different size pages and you want uh, to use Leads Hook as a multi-step form, you can go ahead and do something like this. Now that's going a little bit off topic, but I figured I'd the opportunity to share this with you. So I uh, I have, all right. So hopefully um, that gives you a few more ideas about how to deploy um, Leads Hook inside your blog post and all landing pages. All right, so I'm going to delete that. Okay, so that's done. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and publish this and that'll create this page, which is right over there. I'll go ahead and publish it. Now, if you see, I'm not adding any GTM container, any GTM code over here uh, for a couple of reasons. Is uh, the main one being that it's already loading because I put it uh, because I added these the the decision uh, the GTM script in the header and footer. So all I need to do is to just add a page and put the decision tree on that page, and uh, that's about it. That's that should fire now. Right, so to test this, um, I think uh, the moment of truth has arrived. We're going to go ahead and uh, copy this and go over to the Chrome browser. Uh, I like using Chrome uh, because I find the, it displays the subject or the stuff uh, much better than the other browsers. Uh, but you may have another preference. It doesn't really matter. As long as we go to Developer and the JavaScript console, and the two tabs we use for this stuff is uh, sources and network. But we will start with sources first, and let's make sure uh, that firstly it's firing. So press enter, and it'll start loading up the decision tree. Um, and there was the site. So there you go. It has uh, loaded up uh, right there. Start page. Right. So did it load up? Um, did it load up uh, GTM? Uh, and the answer here is no, it has not. So let's just do a quick refresh and make sure uh, that our installation is happening. We should at, at, the, very, at the bare minimum see uh, GTM loading up, which it has not. So something is wrong. I'll go ahead and uh, identify what the issue is and we'll fix it up and then we'll take it from there. Right, so I've just worked out my first mistake is um, I'm looking at the data layer here. Uh, by the way, this is a plugin. Um, let me just pause the video. So uh, <laughs> I haven't I haven't published my GTM container, right? So that's that's okay. That's just like a amateur mistake right there. All right, so um, that's that's the first mistake we've made is um, I don't have uh, 
the the GTM container uh, published. So obviously nothing's going to load. Right. So how do we do that? Uh, what's this? This is the data layer inspector. It's a really really good uh, uh, Chrome plugin. Uh, so just search for uh, data layer inspector and it will immediately will start giving you this information. Just helps a little bit with uh, troubleshooting, right? Um, so cool, right? So that's done. I'm going to go over to uh, to uh, GTM, which is this one here, and it'll help if we publish it. All right. All right. There you go. See, it's telling me this is what I'm, what I'm about to publish. So the obviously I'll go ahead and continue. Okay, so that has been published um, and version one, perfect, all right? Now, for completeness, I'm going to show you um, something, which is uh, the pausing of tags, right? Because we're not using this tag here at the moment, I'm going to go ahead and just pause it. I'll show you how to do that. Just click the tag uh, and we've got a Facebook pixel sitting right over there. I'm going to go ahead and just pause that, save it. All right, so that way it doesn't need to see load up. And the next thing I'm going to do is Google Optimize. I'm going to go ahead and pause that as well because we're not using Google Optimize in this case. So go ahead and pause that. Okay, the other thing I'm going to go ahead and change uh, is also the AdWords conversion because we're not testing that step yet. I'm going to go ahead and pause that. Save. Okay. All right. Cool. Submit that. So that way the uh, the three pauses that we're doing uh, is going to go ahead and um, and pause that. So that way we don't get any extra errors when we are looking at our GTM inspector. So I'm kind of glad I saw this error message because it's allowed me to share with you the first um, amateur mistake that you will make, at least in my case, I have. Right, cool. So let's go ahead and refresh this. And we're going to see what's happening on the sources page. We should see GTM load up now. Voila. Okay, cool. So GTM's loaded up. And GA's loaded up. Perfect. That's what you want to see. Right? Now, the moment of truth is, um, has... Has the right client ID passed over from this from the this underlying page to Leads Hook? See, because that's the whole point of of doing all this stuff. Like, uh, uh, not that. Uh, let me go back to this one here. So that uh, tag, uh, that tag, and that tag. That's what they're designed to do. They're they're working in unison to ensure that the client ID is passed from this page into uh, into leads hook because if the client ID is the same then um, Google knows that it's the same person otherwise it's going to show your decision trees referrer is the underlying page when we don't want that we want to see the referrer of the traffic where it comes from externally all right that's the whole point of doing this so I'm going to go ahead and um, and show you that now so firstly how do we get the client ID? Okay, so get the client ID by hovering over this thing. Uh, and if you have a look, um, I've just gonna, uh, where is it? I am having a hard time finding it as well. It's gonna be CID. So if you have a look here, just underneath there, there's a number that pops up right over here, which is a CID. Let me just copy the damn thing so I can, right, let me just pause this. Right, so just copied and pasted that. And that's what we want to see, that bit there, CID equals that number, All right? That number is the client ID, and it's the one that tells uh, Google, uh, because, because Google has assigned this client ID to me in this session, and we want to make sure that that client ID exists inside Leads Hook as well. So how do we do that? All right, we open up that little bit there. That's your... That's your uh, where your lead hook is sitting all right so so if you have a look here just to show you so a brief introduction to how this works so that's your uh, your overlap uh, the page on the page are all these elements that are loading up including lead hook which is right over there 
So I'm going to open that up right there. And that's where so you got GTM is loaded inside Leadzook as well uh, and Google uh, Analytics as well, which is good. So if you have a look, I'll open up G GTM. GTM, it's a uh, um, uh, 4N2, 4N2, same GTM container. Perfect. We're winning now. Now let's go and see uh, GA. Obviously, that's loaded up there on this side here. We want to see GA loading up as well. Perfect. It has. All right. I want to go ahead and copy this one as well and go over uh, and paste it. All right. And if I just cross to CID now, we will see that the CID uh, and that one and that one is the same. All right. And that is the correct implementation of Google Analytics, uh, Google Tag Manager inside Leadsook with an I with a embedded content where we're passing uh, the underlying pages, uh, GTM, uh, uh, sorry, the client ID issued by Google Analytics has been passed over successfully through to Leadsook. So now when we look at uh, GA, which I'll cross over to now, uh, you'll see that it all shows up at, as the one session. Okay, I'm in Google Analytics now, which is, uh, and I'm in audience. So uh, Google presents you with this uh, five menu items here, which is uh, real time audience acquisition behavior and conversions. We want to go to audience. In the audience, you want to click on Use Explorer. You click Use Explorer, you get one of these. Uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to change today's date. So uh, I am uh, in the future, in 20th of October. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Click that. And sometimes it takes up to half an hour, actually. So let me uh, go ahead and just uh, uh, maybe change, go a day prior and today and go apply there we go it popped up so there you go if you have a look that client id same number now let's have a look at that if i open that up it's showing me it was a direct and you gotta read it in this order like kind of like from the bottom i don't know if there's a way to sort this oh there you go things you learn every day all right so ascending it's gonna that's my underlying page so there you go gtm um, slash uh, whiz testing uh, dot com and then it's gone to that page uh, and then it's showing you the start page All right so it's working really really well that's the yep beautiful all right, now as you click through the nodes, they'll all pop up as page views. That's because that's how we set it up. We push a page view into uh, GA and um, hopefully that. So as of right now, we're, we're done with the integration, all right? Uh, the next few steps that we're gonna go through, uh, let me just see what we are gonna do next. Uh, yeah, basically we're gonna looking at other trackers, uh, goal setting in GA, all that sort of stuff. But uh, you can go ahead and uh, yeah, start driving your traffic it's not uh, you're, you're done actually this is the, the hardest part is done the rest of the stuff is, is pretty simple a few extra steps to do uh, and hopefully this has allowed you to see how to set up um, ga gtm and lead hook thank you and look forward to seeing the next video bye for now